Hello guys, good morning or good evening. <laughs> I thought it was in the morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even the teacher. No, good night. <laughs> good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? How's everything? I thought it was in the morning, you know. I just woke up. No, it's not true. Uh, so how's everything? Ready? Ready for your class teacher. Awesome. Hey, what happened to you yesterday, JC? Mm. Uh, yesterday, I, I have a problem with my internet because I was raining a lot. Yeah, it was raining a lot. Yeah, today it rained a lot here the whole afternoon, but I'm glad it's, it is stopped. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it would have yeah. been a problem. Yeah, so I understand that. Sorry, sorry, teacher. It's all right. I mean, it's okay. So there are some things we cannot control. And the rain, it's one of those we can't control. So welcome, guys. Thank you so much for connecting on time. Uh, Norma, she's on the way back home, I think. Rafa in his corner. Dre ready, I think, in his house. JC there. Narciso and Daniel looking for the best spot. <laughs> and Christina, Gabriela, and Marlene, I don't know if they are connected. <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yes, you are. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for connecting. This is, uh, well, today is Wednesday. It's just three classes more and this module three is over. This is just incredible how fast time flies, okay? But then the good news is that you are the pilot, right? You are the one who's, you know, um, what, flying this airplane. <laughs> okay, so welcome, Christina. Thank you so much for turning your camera on, not like others who don't turn their camera on. Um, so thank you so much for that. I'm gonna start uh, today by checking the attendance, okay? So let's see, the first one on the list here is, let's see, where is it? Okay, Miss Elizabeth is, Hello, Miss Elizabeth, no connected. Okay, great, no problem. I think she might connect later on. That's what I'm expecting. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Narciso. Uh, Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Cristina Tenniel. Present teacher. Thank you. So let's see. Let's see here. Next one is uh, Eric. Eric not connected. Okay. Gabriela. Gabriela. Present. Hello, Gabriela. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you for answering. <laughs> okay. Let's see next one, Herson. Herson Manuel, not connected yet. Okay, Ruben. Ruben, not connected either. JC is I'm here, here, teacher. I know you are. Linda. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Linda. Uh, Maria Julia, Mary Julie. <laughs> Mary Julie. Connected. Mm -hmm. Marlene. Present. Thank you, Marlene. It seems, it seems like you are, you know, driving back home. If yep. that's so, be careful. Uh, Marvin. 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 No, connected. Okay. Uh, next one, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Uh, Rafa. Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Ready, Rafa? Yes, ready. Awesome. That's great to hear. Ray. 
Present teacher. The king is there. And Xiomara? Where's Xiomara? Xiomara, no connected. Come on, Xiomara. Come on, come on. Okay, so Adrian never made it. Uh, Georgina, no connected. Jairo and Jose. Well, thank you so much, guys, for um, connecting on time. I know it's an effort you guys are doing because it's not easy to have a whole shift and then a lot of things to do, but then you are connected, okay? That's really good, and that's the attitude, okay? So we're going to start today by, um, well, sharing what we left pending yesterday. If you remember, we had this pending. Oh, thank you so much, Maria Julia. Thank you for um, confirming your attendance. Okay, let me update that. Okay, one second. Julia is here. Hmm. So, yesterday you were going to create some mini or maybe long uh, conversations, right? And I know you were working in pairs or even in groups of three, I think. So I would like to know if you guys would like to start volunteering and start improvising if you didn't finish. But uh, we agreed yesterday that you were going to complete this dialogue, right? And then you, you were going to share it today. So who would like to start? I think, um, I don't know who's ready or if you need some time or, but I, I don't think I can make the same groups because um, I don't remember exactly who worked with who. So who wants to start? Reading or, or maybe um, sharing what you did yesterday. So who would like to start? Here in this group, we are, let's see, we are, 12, yeah, at least two or three uh, participations, it'll be great. So please do me a favor, raise your hand to participate. I know JC doesn't know what I'm talking about because he was not present yesterday, but that's understandable, okay? No problem. And the other ones who were attend, who attended yesterday class, who would like to do it? Just to put you in context, JC, Yesterday we uh, worked on the, well, we learned many things. We practice about going to, as you remember, and then we were working on this activity in which uh, your partners were going to work on a conversation like this one. This one where it says, okay, to practice making reservations. Okay, that was basically it. But I don't know who would like to start, guys. Or do you want to? Okay, Daniel, that's the attitude, Daniel. Go ahead, please. Share with us. Okay, I um, work with Mary Julie. Mary Julie are here. Maria Julia. Hello. Okay. Comencemos. Okay. Este. Hello. Thank you for calling the inter interconnect international hotel. This is Julie. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Um, sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Daniel Luna. Thank you, Mr. Luna. Where are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Monday 21st. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Luna? I'm going to stay until Friday. Are you going to make the reservation for a single or a double room? A double room, please. And I need a fridge in the room, please. Only okay, teacher. with great pleasure. Um, thanks for okay. calling. 
international club. Thank you, Julie. Nice. Okay, you see, that's what I'm talking about. Julie, like, uh, this is what I like, how you handle it, uh, Daniel and, and, and Julia, Maria Julia, because you make made it sound like real. And even Julia closed the call. Thank you for calling uh, international, blah, blah, blah. Have a great day, okay? So that's what I'm talking about, okay? You want to make it your own style. So thank you so much. And I imagine having a, a fridge in my room, right? And But not, 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 not empty. I mean, with a lot of drinks, right? So nice. that was good. I give you a like because it was really clear. So thank you, Daniel. Would you like to choose the next person? Because as you can see, nobody wants to do it. So go ahead and choose one person, please. Help me okay. out. Please. Okay, let me see. Linda. Linda, okay, Linda. maybe Linda. Teacher, I didn't do the homework. You didn't do uh, the homework. Okay. Linda, but are, but are you Linda? I think you're sorry. <laughs> okay. How do you say la agarramos con las manos en la masa in English? I, I don't know. <laughs> Linda, usted de mi grupo. Ah? Usted era de mi grupo. No. 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 Con Gerson. Marlene, ah, no. you work with Ray. We catch with your oh. hands in the mind. It's, it's really. <laughs> so, uh, maybe, okay. maybe another Marlene. one. Okay. Marlene. Nice. Marlene, welcome. Hello. Okay. Hello, Marlene. Hello. Give me a second. It's a uh, conversation is on the computer. Un segundo, solo voy a entrar de mi computadora, teacher. Okay. You, you try to keep the conversation in English. I know you can do it. Just give me one second. Let me go ahead and access my computer. Okay. That's, you know, that's the, uh, the right attitude, right? That would be try to keep the conversation in English, guys. So the more we speak it, the more, I mean, the better it is and mm -hmm. all right so do you need if you need more time we can have maybe somebody else to do it and then we can listen to you are you ready yep you ready yes okay so yeah take your time then Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Thank you for calling the the Cameron Hotel. This is Marlene. How can I help you? Uh, I would like to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I am Reynaldo Castro. Thanks, Mr. Castro. Are you going to make the reservation for a single room or double room? I want double your room, please. Perfect. When are you going to arrive? I am going to next Friday, 30. How long are you going to stay with us, Mr. Castro? I am going to stay until Monday. Okay. okay nice so thank you for calling the Cameron hotel have a nice day you see okay just the closing but i even you know that was really good Ray. that was really good Marlene. all the the call flow you know went well so yes 
So that's the attitude. All right. So I wanted to say, uh, Marlene, can you pronounce hotel in English? Hotel. 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 All right. Well, we have listened to two great conversations. Now I think we can still listen to one more because I don't want you to keep it for you. Please go ahead and share it if you would like to. Rafa, don't stay, don't be shy, please. Who did you work with, Rafa? Teacher. Yes? A question? Yeah, go ahead. What, what is the meaning of don't be shy? Not be shy? Don't, don't be, be shy. shy. Don't be shy. No, no sea tímido. Ah. Lo, lo puede escribir en el grupo. Yeah. Okay. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on. Okay. So, Rafa, you ready? Would you like to do yes. it? Go, yes, please. I'm ready. Narciso, Narciso, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. Mr. Sandoval. Okay. Come on, Narciso. Hello. Thank you for calling the Grand San Salvador Hotel. This is John. This is Jen. Oh, how can I help you? I need to make a reservation for that weekend. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I am Rafael Sandoval. Thank you, Mr. Rafael Sandoval. When are you going to arrive? I'm going to arrive on Saturday 19 at night. How long are you going to stay with you, Mr. Sandoval? I'm going to stay until two days. Are you going to make your reservation for a single or a double room? A single room, please. Okay, Mr. Sandoval. That's all, teacher. Nice, nice. You know what, all these ideas that you guys are, are saying are really good and really clear. I think it's just a matter of practicing that closing of the call because it's, it, it is a call and that will be you know, perfectly fine. Closings are easy to make, not that difficult. The, the easiest one is when we say, uh, thank you for calling. And then you can say, thank you for calling. Um, Narciso's company, have a nice day. Thank you for calling the Cameron Hotel. Um, take care or you have a good one. I mean, those are possible closings, okay, that you can make, you know. Of course, we haven't practiced that, but if you would like to do it, I mean, that, that would be great. One more thing um, that you can also include, guys. How do you say algo más en lo que pueda ayudarle? How, is, how do you say that in English? Just, you know, something else. Okay, else. yeah. Yeah. Can I? Somewhere else. Okay, I would say this one, guys. Any else. Anything, Anything else. else. Anything else I can assist you with? Any, like this, anything else? Because it's a question. The best one would be anything else. Anything else I can assist you with? This is, you know, I would say this is one of the most complete one. Anything else I can assist you with, you know, I would be like, you know, sort of appropriate for this. Okay, um, well, thank you so much for sharing. We're going to get started with today's class. Today, we are going to study a topic that I think it's going to be a review for you guys because uh, we are going to study uh, imperative. So I think we have practiced this before okay so we're gonna practice a little bit you know, about that but before we get to that there is one topic that i consider is just a review but we can go over it okay 
And these are uh, prepositions, okay? Let me ask. Uh, let's see who I can ask. Let me see. Christina, are you good at reading maps? This question, are you? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am not good either. Yeah, no. Who's really good? Okay, how do you do when you want to go to a place and you don't know? Nowadays, it's easier. Let's see, JC, what do you do when you go to a place you have never been to and you have to drive or maybe you have to go? Do you ask for help? Do you ask directions or what do you do? I, I understand uh, more or less, teacher. Please repeat. Sure, no problem. So what do you do, JC, when you have to go to a place you haven't visited? You don't know. Okay. How, what do you do? And you have to get... I, I ask for direction of located place. Okay, you ask for direction. So to see the location, okay, nice. Uh, is there any other thing you guys do to when you want to get to a place that you haven't been to yet? Any experience or any anecdote that you would like to share, guys? Maybe when you have gotten lost, cuando se han perdido, or any experience that you want to share? What have you done? ¿Qué hicieron? ¿Qué han hecho? What did you do? Uh -huh. Hey teacher, I'm going to to the home of my of my friend mm -hmm. and no never visiting. Mm -hmm. I I ask the, the direction. Mm -hmm. He sent me. I use a Google Maps for 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 uh, the ubication. The location, uh -huh. the location, location, okay. Mm -hmm. The location and in drive to to the place mm -hmm. who who I know well. Mm -hmm. In 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 for this place for that place mm -hmm. to the home, I use the map. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I'm, go I'm going to share something else, but I want to hear other anecdote or any other experience. Like Daniels, who else would like to share any experience that you might have had? A look que haya tenido, haya pasado, guys. Like Daniels case, anybody? Open your mic, please. Don't, do not be afraid to make mistakes. Just speak, speak, try to speak English. Anybody share something? Everybody. I, I, I asked I ask, uh, the question of uh, police. Oh, you asked some, uh, okay, to the police. Okay, yeah, that's an option. Okay, yeah, you can ask for help to, uh, to any police officer. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any experience, any anecdote in which you were lost and then you don't you didn't know what to do and you were like, okay, what do I do now? So any experience? Come on, guys, talk, try to speak English, okay? Just let it flow, let it flow, okay? Hmm. Let me tell you that we have the blessing of having. GPS, as Daniel said, okay? You can use Google Maps, you can use- um, When, only, only when I drive, use um, Waze. Waze, well, yes, exactly. exactly. Correct. Correct, it's easy to get to places when you use one of those applications on your phone, right? I remember once I was asked to go to a place I didn't know, I just, Google it, okay, let me see where, 
how do I get to this place? And automatically, boom, you know, it gave, it gave me the, the, all the directions and instructions. And it was easy. Even, you know, it gives you the, the shortest and the fastest way to get to that place. So it's really easy nowadays. But in the past, we didn't have this. We didn't have anything like this. So, um, and are you good? giving directions guys are you good giving direction imagine you see somebody who's lost and they uh, or he or she ask you okay how do i get to this place are you good at giving directions guys anybody who's good to you know at giving no no, no. It's not good not good so we're not no. good it's at giving it's okay. confused okay yeah, I know some people who are really good at, about giving, the, the, you know, directions. And that was my previous boss. My previous boss, he was really good. But then because he, he likes driving a lot. So a person who drives a lot is a good, you know, um, I would say reference because they know. Okay, so let's do this because these are prepositions that will help us, you know, provide directions, okay? So what is the first one we have here, guys? The first one is, look at this one, is? Next to. Next to, thank you so much for saying it, okay? Mm -hmm. Which means, like, you can, you can see these two boxes here. One is, and is next to the other one. A is next to B. This is the best representation. How about in front of? Okay, in front of, if you can see this little start is in front of that cube or that box, in front of, okay? To pronounce it, you can link it like this, in front of, the T-O, in front of. Let's see, uh, Gabriela, how do you pronounce this one, the third one? Gabi? Between. Between. Thank you so much. Between is just like this one in the middle, right in the middle of, right? Between, like this is the best representation, okay? And across from, it's because there is one street and you have to cross it, okay? Across the street. This is the best representation. Okay, so let's, let's um, go over the next one. We have, oh, let, let me see, really quick. We have, oh, look at this one, around the corner. It means if there is a corner like this one, like here, if the, if the place where you are looking for, you are giving direction or, or asking for, is just in, just in this corner, you can say around the corner, right? Around the corner, okay? And we have on the right, on the left. This has to do with your hands. On the right, on the left. Down the street, it means like all the way, right? Down the street, okay? Like straight down the street. You have to continue forward until you see here or there, okay? So do you have any questions about these prepositions, guy, or any meaning that you would like to check? What do you remember? Any questions? Or is it clear? Or... Clear? Clear, teacher. Yeah, you guys are, you know, uh, really good, I think. That was really good. Let's do something then. Uh, we have this map right here and we need to complete it, okay, in pairs. And let's do something. Imagine you guys are in this part, in this part, okay? Here is Yomara, Narciso, Ray, Marlene, Linda, everybody is here. So you're going to practice, okay? You have some sentences here. Well, you see we have the hotel is across the street, the gas station, the bank, the ATM, restaurant. So you are going to work in Paris, take turns. You're going to label, okay? The names in these blanks, okay? 
So that's what you're going to do. Take a, take a look at this one, this uh, statement, and then write what is missing there. And then take turns asking directions. For example, ¿Cómo preguntan uh, cómo llego a tal lugar en English? How do you say that in English? What is the common question we we make when you want to say, um, ¿Cómo llego a tal lugar? Oh, how, do, how do you say that? Is it? How can I find the restaurant? How can I find? It's okay. Or you can say, how can I? Go to the restaurant. Go to, sounds good. There's one action that you can say. How can I? How can I? G E T. Good. How can I get? Okay. So let's. Uh, you can you can practice in pairs, but then I want you to decide where is each of these places. I'm not gonna give you that much time, please. If you finish it fast, you can return to the main um, room, or you can. Keep talking and asking and, you know, questions about directions, guys. Work in pairs, please. And let's finish this activity as fast as possible. And let's see, before we go to the rooms, you, do you have any other questions that you would like to ask? No questions? Okay, here we go then. Okay. Let's work in pairs. Hello guys, did you finish? Uh, no teacher, Gabriela quizás está desconectada. Hello. No lo había escuchado. Ahorita vamos a empezar, teacher. Do it, please do it.
Yang ayo bahan bu. Yang yang di street is is he is turning across the street. Aha is is lo lo puesto. Yang vamos vamos caminando por la calle. To the right to the side side left is the restaurant al lado derecho. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, teacher, I... It's very easy, teacher. <laughs> very easy. <laughs> no, but, no, but that is for you guys. I listen to the other ones and I don't think it's easy, but, but it's really? fine. I'm glad, I'm glad it is mm -hmm. for you. I'm glad. So, well, I'm going to give one more minute and then I'm going to ask you guys to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, that's all right. All right. Okay, sure. Did you finish, Maria Julia? Cristina, did you finish? Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Good, good. Let's wait for your partners to come back. Then we're going to start sharing, okay? Okay. All oh, right. Um, quick question. When do you listen to any when I receive a message on oh my WhatsApp, do you guys listen to the sound or not? No. Because um, uh, no. WhatsApp. The thing is that sometimes I synchronize my WhatsApp with my computer. And um, and I would like to know if you listen to when I receive the message, because that might be interfering a little bit. Or don't you listen? Do you listen yes, to it? Or no? No, okay. No. Nope. Okay, it's better because uh, I just received many messages and then it was like- They you know, chateando, teacher. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. No, the thing is that uh, this week is evaluation at school and I have assigned an activity in which my students are going to send me audios and videos short videos and they are they don't they don't really care if it is at night they just send it so you know students <laughs> especially teenagers so that's why i'm receiving many messages but i'm going to um close it from my computer i'm not chatting don't be the don't be like that marlene okay um so let's see was it easy guys is it difficult piece of cake piece of uh, quesadilla with a chocolate, hot chocolate. Yes? Piece of cake. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to choose. I would like to listen to Gabriela. 
Gabriela in, in company and Marvin, I think. Can you uh, share the screen and tell us, uh, or can you tell us your experience if it was easy or difficult? Easy teacher. Okay, go ahead and share it, please, Gabriela. What's the answer, Gabby? Let me share the screen and then you tell us. Maybe you want to uh, just tell us which is, you know, the correct position for each one. I know this map is not the big deal, right? Let me see, let me share. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. One second, three, two, one, go. Okay, so this is the one. So you can use your uh, annotation toolbar and write, you know, the name in the blanks. How was it? How was it? This is number one. Let, let me do it like this. So it maybe it helps a little bit. Okay. So which do we have on number two? Which place or which location do we have a number two? The ATM is down the street on the right. Wow. What? Here. Marlene, here. What? No, no, number two. Number two, okay. All right, so Marlene says, guys, that this is the ATM. Do you guys agree with that? Yes, yes. I'm agree. You, okay, Daniel agrees. And how about the other ones? Hmm. What about the other ones? Do you guys agree? If you agree, please use the chat and say, yes, I agree or I disagree on the chat. It's okay to say no if you are not sure about this. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody likes chatting today. I agree. You agree as well, Rafa. Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, I agree. It's correct. Okay, and what about a number? What about here, guys? Here, what? Let me see. I don't. I don't remember the numbers. I. Hello. Hello. Guys, can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Damn it! It's all like computer. No veo nadie. Solo veo todo está black. So <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's charming. Yeah, I cannot even see the chat. I only can listen. At least I can listen to you. No sé si se me ven que soy frozen en el computer o soy ahí moving my... Um, the, the, ¿Cómo se dice? En la pantalla está apreciada. Okay. Your camera is down. Your letter box. Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. It's black. Okay. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> okay, thank you. I am back. Thank you so much. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría, guys? ¿Cómo quedaría? La number... No, I don't remember the number that I assigned. <laughs> okay, but I think... Uh, what was this number? What do we have here, guys? In this part, what, what do we have here? Restaurant. 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 What do we have here? And in here. Bank. Bank. Okay. I think Daniel is going to help us. Okay, go ahead, Daniel. Complete it. No, 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 teacher. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to how to use that tool, but I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. So who would like to complete it? Who would like to complete it? Let's see. Use the, the annotation or annotation bar, I think it is the name. 
Let's see who wants to do it. Anybody who wants, nobody wants to play with that tool. If you have a computer, it's easier, right? Because you can access to it easier. If you have a phone, then it's a little bit challenging. Uh, uh, rest. <laughs> okay. Sorry. No, no what, problem. A, what about on the other side of the street? Only I see the web And then this is um, Okay. <laughs> what does ATM uh, stand for? With me? What does uh, ATM stand for? ATM. Uh -huh. It's the street. I'm sorry? ATM is down the street on the right. Right, and what does ATM stand for? I mean, what, how, what is the full form of ATM? What is the meaning of ATM? Hmm. I see, and I, I, and I learn in the in the module one, but I forget. <laughs> <laughs> you, you forgot it. Okay. I forget it. <laughs> okay. ATM. Who knows what ATM is? ATM is what is the meaning of the A? What is the meaning of the T? What is the meaning of the M? Cajero. Yes, as a cajero. And then what is what does ATM stand for? ¿Qué significa la una de las letras? That's your homework, Daniel. Remember, Daniel. We said, <laughs> <laughs> try to remember, we said this last, I think it was like two, two modules, right? The first one. Okay. Xiomara, what is it? Herson is here. What is it? JC, what's ATM? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, Automatic teller machine. Exactly. <laughs> Automatic. Automatic. Saint Google. Yes. Auto, <laughs> auto, automatic teller machine. Yes, exactly. It's the automatic teller machine. I, I invoke, invoke to some Google. <laughs> okay. 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 Good. Nice, guys. I think it's time to move on. We're going to continue to talk about directions and how to give and how to ask for directions. Okay. But this time we're going to move on into how to use imperatives or imperatives. Imperatives, which means, okay, let's see. Ustedes son buenos para dar orden, ¿verdad? Más algunos que tienen la cara ya de bossy, ¿verdad? Algunos dicen bossy, por ejemplo. Veamos, aquí generemos un par de órdenes ahorita. Cualquiera, whatever comes to your mind, imperatives. Ok. Um, Imagínense, vaya más de todo, aquí somos, somos eh, sus eh, subordinados de la jefa. Yeah. Ok. ¿Qué más que iba son imperatives? How do you how do you say I mean or what do you say to your um not even colleagues maybe to the people who work for you? Uh, so what are what are some possible imperatives you guys use? A ver. Or what would you say at this moment? You can send it to the chat as well. You can open your mic. Or how do we know when it's an imperative? What, what is the structure? Any idea on the chat? As you can see here, this is a not, 
this is not a new topic. And let me ask Cristina. Cristina, do the phrases above have a subject? Todas esas tienen, tienen subject, miren, tienen subject estas oraciones? Tienen subjects? Yes or no? No, no. No. So what is a subject? What is a subject? What, can you give me an example? He, he she, he, they. Nice. Exactly. exactly. So then okay. imperatives, what happened to the imperatives? They don't what? They don't use subjects, right? We only use a verb with without any personal pronoun, right? So that would be like directly, listen to me, please. Write 10 sentences, okay? Don't say anything if it's negative. Do not come late anymore. So what are those possible imperatives, like in general, that you can, you can give somebody? It might depend, right? If it's, if it's at work. A ver, ¿cuántos jefes tenemos aquí? ¿Qué dicen a sus empleados? What do you say to your employees? ¿Qué le dicen? Seguí bien tarde, vas a ver. You must go. <laughs> you must go, sorry. You so must, yeah. sir. You must go, sorry. You, you must go. Sorry to so, home. Right. <laughs> Pero si yo le, ya le pongo you must go, es la, la fórmula de los imperatives oh, yeah. no llevan el subject de un solo el uh, verbo. Go. Go back home. <laughs> Regresa a su casa, go back home. <laughs> and don't come back no more. Okay, what do you say? Generemos un par de imperatives. Eso lo hicimos hace un par de clases, I think. The send the report. Uh, send the report. Exactly. What else? Watch the car. Watch that car. Wow. It's, it's, it's kind of like smelly, you know? So wash it. <laughs> take it Take it to the car wash, okay? What else do you say? Other possible imperatives, guys, that you use at work or maybe uh, in your families at with your friends, what do you say? Let's take two minutes and let's brainstorm. I'm gonna give you the ideas, the imperatives. Clean your room. <laughs> Clean your room, okay. Do you say that to yourself? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Do you say that to your kids? <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Then you say, okay, Marlene, clean your room. Clean it. Clean I, it. Say to yeah, my, I, I say to my kids, stay quiet. Stay quiet or be quiet. Yes. Be yeah. quiet. Yeah. I like it. What else? What? No. No. Um, what other do you do? Don't do it. What Make else? dinner. Make dinner. Mm, okay. Make dinner now. <laughs> and don't say <laughs> yeah, anything. My brother. Ah. Make your homework. Brush my shoes. Brush, brush my shoes. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, in this, Marlene, instead of you cooking for him, you want him to cook for you. That's not good. You are the yeah lady. because I I <laughs> I stay in my class. Mm -hmm. I poor little poor little I, brother poor little brother poor little brother. No, because, no. Let's see, JC, what are some imperatives you use at home? Linda, uh, Ray, please participate. Norma, don't, Narciso, don't Ruben. Don't uh -huh. no, Sorry, teacher. Go ahead. Continue. I don't my shirt. <laughs> I don't my shirt. Okay, I like it. I don't my shirt now, please. I want to look elegant. Yes, JC. Don't, 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 speak, don't fix with your brother. Don't speak. Fix or uh, fix uh, with your fight. brother. Fight? Yeah. Uh, fight? Big, uh, I don't know. Pelear? Yeah. Oh, don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight with your brother. Don't fight with your brother. Oh. Okay. Yeah, don't fight with your brother. Please. And and yeah, if, if you add please, it makes it more polite, right? 
in, but it's still an imperative. Don't fight with your brother. Don't fight with your brother. Yes. But if you are like, kind of like, if you want to make it not that rude, not that rude, then you want to say, don't fight with your brother, please. But you can simply say, don't fight with your brother. What else? Any other? Take out the trash. Take out the trash, okay? Saca la basura, what the toca? Take out the trash, okay? Okay. Make your homework. Okay, do your homework. Do your homework, yes, do your homework. Any other? Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Yes, turn on the light. Okay. Yeah. If it's if it's I think uh, turning on the lights, everybody you know likes doing it. But then when it's time to go to bed, you don't want to you know get up from the bed, and you don't want to go and turn off the light. It does more difficult. So turn off the light. <laughs> Okay, good. So those are some of the possibles, you know, uh, imperatives. But this time or today, we are going to use imperatives to give, you know, directions or to give, you know, the location of a place. And we have some of them here. Okay, I know, you know, this is the way we do it. It might not sound that polite. However, this is the easiest way to help somebody without going around the bushes, okay? Without like going around straight to the point. So let's go ahead and read them, okay? Number one, let's see. Uh, how do you say this one? Go. Let's pray. Go straight, okay? Go straight means directly, right? Don't. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Go past. And then we have turn left. Turn right. Go up or go down. You decide. Go up the street. Go down the street. Walk down. There's a difference between go up and, and walk down. What do you think it is? Well, same. Go up and go and walk down. What, what is Subir. the difference? Subir or bajar. Uh huh. You want to say go, go down and walk down? What's the difference? Go up. Subir. Go down, Maha. Yes, but then when you use walk, it's because that's obvious, right? You're not gonna say walk down if the person is driving, for example. You have to say go down because walk down is specifically for a person who's, you know, walking or on foot or by foot, okay? It means not using anything, right? No other means of transportation, okay? Good. Go on for two blocks. That's very common, in United, like to give directions to blocks, to blocks, um, to blocks. And I think, but uh, we say, we say, I would say blocks is the, you know, the similar option we have in English. One block, two blocks, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, take the first left, take the first right. We can change this. We can say, take the second left, take the third left, and so on, okay? So uh, these are some of the um, imperatives we have, you know, to give directions. I'm gonna check the attendance right now, and then we're gonna oh. start practicing this, okay? Because I want you to practice as much as you can. Practice giving and asking directions, create scenarios for you to practice, that's essential, okay? But before we do that, let me go ahead and start checking the attendance, okay? Let's see, number one here, I think Miss uh, Elizabeth didn't make it. Okay, number two. Hi. Number two. Okay, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Narciso. Number three, we have Christina. 
Christina. Present, present. Thank you, Christina. We move on. Daniel or Daniel. Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Eric Arnoldo. I repeat it again. That's too sad. Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Person. Okay. No, Harrison. I can Present see Harrison is there. Okay. Yes, thank you so much, Harrison. Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you, Ruben. JC. Present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Marlene. Um, let's see, Marvin. Present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you, Ray. Ray. Ray is not here. Even I can see him. <laughs> Xiomara. Is he is he right. teacher? Good, no problem. And then Adrian, Georgina, Jose never made it. Jose and Jairo. Okay, so good. Thank you so much. Let's keep going because we have, I know, um, some other things that we are going to do today. So let's practice. Let's have JC, JC and Ruben, please. A speaker A, J, C, a speaker B, Ruben. Go, guys, read it. Good morning. Could you give me direction to the nearest hotel, please? Good morning. So, walk down the street and turn left. Thank you. Okay. No Yes, thank you so much. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, easy to say it, right? Easy to pronounce it. Uh, Ruben, can you pronounce this word, please? Sure. Sh sure. 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 Exactly. Okay. Sure. 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 Por supuesto. Claro. Okay. Let's see. Now, uh, Gabriela, speaker A. And Xiomara, a speaker B, but change the place and change the two uh, instructions. Change. Xiomara, you are A, and did I say Julia? <laughs> B. Okay. Good morning. Oh. Good morning. Could you give me direction to the nearest 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 hotel? Change the place, please. Change the place. Que sea otro lugar. Mm -hmm. To the nearest hotel. <laughs> we can. We need to change the place. Change it. Like we're not gonna say. For example, good morning, or you can say good afternoon. Could you give me directions to the nearest restaurant? To the nearest, I don't know, any other place. Maybe park, hospitals, or public places. Okay, or ATM. So change the. Change this uh, place. Linda, help us, Linda. Linda. I know Linda and Christina. Let's try this different. And Pat, Linda and Christina. Go ahead, please. Change the information. Uh, me, A? Okay. 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 Good morning. Could you give me direction to the nearest hotel? Hotel. Okay. Uh, good morning. Of course. Uh, you 
walk down, walk down the street and turn the left. There is the hotel. Thank you. No problem. Okay, good. That was good. Thank you for changing the information. That is the that is the point, right? So let's see one more. Yeah. Only one more. One more. Maybe um, I don't know. Let's see, Maria Julia and Rafa. Change it. Rafa, you start. Yes, sister. I am um, B I A. Huh? Maria Julia B. <laughs> Good morning. Could you give me direction to the near hospital? Good morning. Of course. Uh, while while no. while to the left to the left uh, the strip M and and go for three blocks. Thank you very much, Mary Yuli. No problem. Nice. Okay. Yes. So thank you. That's that's the idea, guys. That's the idea that we can improvise it. But we're gonna have more time right now because you guys are going to use all these, you know, locations. What is this? What is this one? This picture. What does it represent? This picture is a. ATM. An ATM, right? ATM. Good. Mm. And, th and then we have what? We have a bank. Uh, bank. Okay. Next one is a gas station. Gas station. And then we have a restaurant. And then the hotel. So what are we going to do? I know you like drawing, so you're going to draw, okay, and choose the location, okay, and this, in this square, you guys are going to place, you know, you're going to draw, and then you're going to start asking uh, your partner to give you directions, okay, taking turns, but then you have to make one drawing in pairs, decide where to put this place, where to put the other place, and so on. Maybe you can name the street that helps sometimes, okay? So is it clear? What's the purpose of this activity? Or do you have questions? Yes? We are going to draw, okay? So let's practice in pairs. And please, like, change roles. Cambien roles y practiquen lo más que pueda. Con las mismas pair, uh, partners de la anterior o otras. Random. Okay, random then again. We're going to do it randomly. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Están de tres. Ahí vemos cómo se incluye el tercero, okay?
Station. Well, yes, uh, could you tell me where is the Norris gas station? Podría decirme dónde está la estación más cercana. Sería Tom Tom Street. Right. On the right. The back is next. And the next two is. No, 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 that's a special. Okay. Hotel. Okay. Restaurant. Aquí. The in this corner, oh, oh. No. El, here, ah, en la otra, en la otra. Here, ahí estaba, ahí, ahí. Está. Okay, ahí ubicamos los demás. Okay, and Tan grande, es lo, es lo más pequeño. Is in between the restaurant in and the bus station. The other okay. <clears throat> Well done, Steve, uh, and, and to your left. Well, go, go, just go down.
go on yeah. peer blocks peer blocks peer block a la derecha um, <laughs> the first Yeah, and, and there is um, in front of the restaurant. In front of the restaurant. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. I found okay. it. I found it. <laughs> okay. Nos faltaría, solo nos faltaría ATM, no, este, bank. Bank, ok. Y bank. Oh, entonces, bank is in front of ATM. Is next to the oh, bank. Front. Next. Uh -huh. Pongámosle bueno y lo que iré, pues. Ok, pero lo que iré. Pero lo que iré. De Hilton Hotel, pongámosle. Pues lo que iré. Mary Julie, Mary Julie. <laughs> Aún no vuelve. <laughs> ¿Quién usted? Los demás. <laughs> no. Yo pensé que yo me había quedado sola ahí. ¿eh? No, lo que pasa es que hay uno, hay unos estaban, hay unos estaban, se han emocionado. También chivos, entonces por eso. Ah. Ajá. Ya vio la creación que hicieron que Rey con Gerson. Un, estaban haciendo un curso de, de distribución en planta en AutoCAD. Bici utilizaron. Nice. Ok. Good. Ok. Um, so let's wait for everybody to, to return. I know you guys had plenty of time, but uh, the time you guys had, I know you invested it, right? You used it wisely. I could see you, I could hear you practicing. So that was really good. So thank you so much for taking advantage of the time. 
Les agradezco por utilizar el tiempo sabiamente y tomar ventaja de él. Pude escuchar varios y well, that was really good. Um, well, uh, I would like you now to share, please. And there are many great ideas that I heard. Great pronunciation, great um, what conversation that you you know created. So, who would like to start sharing what you did in your groups in your uh, rooms? Do I have any volunteer to share with the whole class? Anybody? Everybody, I think we'll do it. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Marvin, are you ready? Nice, Rafa. Go. Marvin. Okay. You ask the question, Marvin. Oh. Um, at eight. A time, a time, it is location. Six Marvin? Block. Hola, hola. You are the, the first question. Where located the ATA magic? Um, I, I think it, it is location. Five block. Could you give me direction the city bank? Uh, go straight in front of the, of the small. Where located the next gas station? Is location across Barrio Street. Could you say me direction the Pampa restaurant? Uh, between school in the park. Where located the Hilton Hotel? In is located is Franco Street on the right. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Only that teacher. Right, thank you for being the first one, Rafa and, and Marvin. Thank you for your participation. I want to uh, want to give a very quick uh, observation, okay? ¿Cómo le pronunciamos lo, eh, ubicado o located. Sí, ubicado? Ajá, located. Okay, located, the Marvin location, eh, no, nah, located. No hay que no hay que decir uh, locator, no es locator, es located. Ahí lo okay. mandé, located, que termine okay. el sonido. ¿Se acuerdan del De, las, de la terminación it, esta es una de ellas, <coughs> located. Okay. Well, located. Ajá. La otra observación, guys, es el verbo es locate, localizar, pero ya cuando es sustantivo es location, ahí sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Location and locate and located, three different things. Para decir entre medio de Marvin, decimos between, between. Eh, pronuncia para cómo es cómo diríamos eh, dime o dime porque dime la dirección o escuché un eh, escuché lo siguiente say me hemos hablado say? cómo qué decimos en vez de say me si queremos usar el, el verbo say qué nos hace, nos haría falta ahí en esa you say me yeah, si digo you say me, ¿qué haría falta aún? You can say me. Mm, no. al, algo falta en ese verbo, que es requisito para usarlo. ¿Qué les he mencionado? Mm. En el, ¿Alguien se recuerda? Mm. Do you say me? Do you say me? Eso sería una, una pregunta, pero algo más hace falta a ese verbo. Todas esas... No, no mandan todavía la idea esencial. ¿Qué falta? It's mandatory. It's a must do. A must say. 
El verbo say, ¿qué le, qué le agregamos, Kai? Tú. Exactly, exactly, say linda. Say to me. Siempre va a llevar tú. Siempre. Say to me. Say to. Es como cuando decimos listen to music. Listen yeah. to. Es del mismo, del mismo nivel. Así que hay que ponérselo siempre. Say to me. Say to me. Y tell me. Tell me no. Tell me no, no lo necesito. Tell me. Después de tell me de una vez el objeto directo. ¿verdad? Tell okay. me. Tell me. En la canción, say you, say me. Ese es un error, ¿verdad? Pero él, si, no, si, lo, si no le decía, say you, say me, suena bien feo. Say to me, say. No, 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 no suena. Ahí eso, pero es, eso es como el autor lo hizo, pero la, la gramática, el verbo say requiere to. Say to me, listen to me, explain to me. Esos son los que siempre llevan el to, los más comunes. Bueno, uh, I want to thank you, uh, Rafa and Marvin, for being the first one. To participate, y solo mencionar ese detallito, ¿verdad? Uh, anybody else? ¿Quién más? Le... Ah, Rafa, pronuncia hotel. 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 Good. Hotel. Ok, thank you so much. Me gustaría que Rey y Gerson compartieran el de ellos, ya que les quedó, Man mandaron hacer una foto al grupo. So I want to see what you have to say. Go ahead, please. Mr. Hernández. Qué bárbaro. Where is the gas station? Gerson. No tiene encendido el micrófono. Uh, the gas station is around the corner. The restaurant is down the street. The hotel is next to the restaurant. The ATM is across the street, the restaurant. The bank is next to ATM. Sorry, I froze. I think uh, because it's sharing, I don't know if that is affecting. So are you, that was really good. Uh, and are you guys going to interact like a conversation, Ray? Was that the intention at the beginning? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hi, hi. Where is, where is the gas station? The guys station. Um, sorry, teacher. I have problems. Mm. Can you see the screen? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Now let me see. Mm -hmm. Voy a dejar de compartir, tal vez así se me arregle. Ahora sí. No. It's rain here, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have problems. Okay, no problem, no problem. Um, Ray already read, you know, the sentences, but I think you guys wanted to make a, sort of like a conversation, right? But then if you have problems, Harrison, no worries, okay? Thank you so much. Maybe later on you can do it, okay? 
So thank you then, Hirston. Thank you, Ray, for your participation. Actually, that was a really good drawing. I think you guys you know, are good at drawing in computers or using this type of programs. So maybe you like designing like maps and you know, all those things. So thank you for doing so. I appreciate it. We are going to move on. Who wants to continue? Uh, maybe Ruben. Ruben? In your room. Yes, go ahead, Ruben. What do you have? for the class. Uh, group. Okay. Uh, Marlena, yes. Okay. Yes. Compañera... Uh, Norma. Norma, Norma, Norma. Okay. Le va a dejar, no sé. Bueno. O solo la decimos, sí. Uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, good morning, ladies. Uh, could okay. you tell me where is the another gas station, please? Uh, I uh, go straight and go on the first block and turn right. Ah, okay. Uh, and hotel. And the other turn right next to the gas station. Ah, okay. Uh, and the bank? And the bank, please? The bank. Go speed and turn on left. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Vaya, no sé si usted le pregunta. Sí. ¿Es Marlene? Marlene, ok. No sé si... No. Eh, Marlene, ¿puedes you help me, please? Ok. No, eh, ok. Tell me where is the noted uh, ITM? ITM is go straight and turn right and in front the gas station. Okay. Uh, and the hospital? And the hospital is Okay, it's invent for Nasaki. <laughs> okay, the hospital is in Santa Tecla. Yeah. Okay, it's go. It's not, it's it's not down, down the street in the, the, the second, in the, go on for two blocks and turn right and between the gas the gas station and hotel okay thank you you're welcome bye hey. ya lo perdió en esa gran dirección <laughs> ah ya me perdí a los salvadoreños mejor mejor pago uber ya llevo a agarre ya llevo a san miguel mejor gracias aquí aquí llevo waste all right okay Nice. Uh, Rubén le iba a mencionar, para decir más cerca, nearest, nearest, ni, i, nearest, nearest, nearest. Okay. Is, y no nearest. sé, pero sigue escuchando que dicen hotel, y es hotel. Hotel. El acento es en la segunda sílaba, hotel, hotel. Okay. Bueno, thank you so much. Thank you for improvising as well. Sí, hotel, you know. Hotel. <laughs> Eso se lo va a quedar de tarea a usted. Ok. 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 So, next one. Veamos. Faltan como dos o tres que no, no han compartido. So, who wants to do it? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead, Daniel. Ok. Let me share my, my photo.
Ok. Oh, is, ya nos perdimos is, ahí, Daniel. This is the bank. ATM, <laughs> REST, okay. ITO, S Hotel y Gas Station for GS. Ok. Ok. Eh, good morning, Daniel. Good morning. Could you give me direction to the nearest hotel? Okay, the hotel is down the street. Down the street to the uh, to the right side, next to gas station. Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. Hola, hola, hello. hello there. Good morning, good morning. Could you give me direction to the, the nearest gas station? Okay, the, the gas station is uh, down the street to the right side, next to hotel in front of restaurant. Thank you, Daniel. You're welcome, no problem. Daniel, good morning. Good morning. Could you, could you give me direction to the nearest uh, uh, ATM? Okay, the ATM is down the street to the left side in front of the bank. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, teacher, it's all. I like it. Hey, don't, don't, don't uh, stop sharing. I like, you know, uh, the reference. <laughs> you see? <laughs> no, but that was really clear. You know, it was really clear. Thank you for, for you know, you are, you are good at, you know, giving direction. I, uh, I, I, I grow, I grow the, I make it grow is uh, from my cell phone. Ah, you I don't have computer. I don't have computer. You must be a designer. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, you. okay, good. So thank you, Narciso, as well for your participation and making it sound like you know as if you as if it was a real conversation. So so thank you so much for that. And let's see, did everybody share already? Nobody is missing. Who hasn't shared? I know you that, that, that there are some of you who haven't shared. Don't, don't tell me who's missing. Yeah, you, you who you that that are listening to me with, with the two only, ears. Only the, report you report the weather from San Salvador is to start to raining. Yeah, is it raining? In San Salvador, yes, in San Salvador. Oh, in okay. all, in, in, this is the old weather for this night. Look nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, re I'm, I'm report of the weather. <laughs> the, the weather condition. How do you say, condition. how do you say uh, pronóstico del tiempo in English? Why? Uh, yeah. No, I don't know. Uh, time, time pronostic? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniel, that's your homework. <laughs> okay. Weather, <laughs> weather. Weather. Something start with letter F. Weather. Weather. Say Google. <laughs> I have I have the same from here. <laughs> Weather what? Weather. Pronunciation? No pronunciation. Yeah, I heard it. I heard, I would even say weather. Forecast. Weather forecast. forecast. Exactly. Forecast. The weather forecast. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Marlene. You see the weather forecast. Great. Weather okay. Forecast. Nice. So who wants to do it? Next one. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Aha. Uh -huh. It's raining here in Sonsonate as well. It's raining, but not much. It's just a little, you know. Okay, but teacher. Go ahead, Jay. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, Linda. Hey, Juan Carlos. Good morning. Morning, Linda. No, good night. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Juan Carlos, uh, can you 
could you help me to give a direction, please? It's true. Oh, Tell okay. me. Okay. Can you? Where is the? How can I? Sorry. How can I get to to restaurant, uh, JC? If I am in the bank. Oh. You you are in the bank. Okay. Yes, go, I am in the bank. Go going straight and two block and about the avenue Claudia Lars and then to the left um, Roosevelt, the restaurant is in the corner. Ah, in the corner, okay. And you know, I need uh, go to to the mall too. You can, could you help me? Yes. Please, please, please. I don't understand. I don't listen. And before, after, after the, the the restaurant, I need to go to the mall. Oh, you the can mall. help me. Could you help me to the mall? Yes. To the mall. But you go mall. by by car or or walk? No, I am walking. Okay. Okay. And the mall is next to the gas station and police office. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Only teacher. Only Hi. teacher. Okay, JC. Okay, Linda. Thank you so much. I like that you mentioned the names of the streets. That makes it clearer and, and easier to understand it. So thank you for, for, for your participation. It was really clear. Um, so did we finish or do we still have some, you know, of you who haven't participated? We finished? Yes, Xiomara, did you participate already? Go ahead, Xiomara, and your partner, please. Okay. Hey, Christina. Yeah. Um, hey. Hello. Hey. Good okay. morning, Xiomara. Could you hear me direction? The restaurant, please. Okay. Um, the restaurant is located is Avenue Avenue Amapolas next to hotel. Okay. Uh, and direction the bank. Okay. Uh, the bank location on the street are in front of restaurant. Okay. Thank you, Simara. Okay, Christy. Only teacher? Only that. Okay. All right. Remember that we, we say located, located. Okay. No locator, it's located, located. And if it is, uh, you want to say the name of the avenue, you say um, it's not Avenue Amapolas, it's the other way around, it's Amapolas Amapola. Avenue. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you want to say the bank location, the bank location is this, and this, the bank's location is. So the direction, the bank direction is, and then you mentioned that, the, the, you know, location and all these attractions, okay? So thank you so much, guys. It's on, on the street. It's on, exactly, it's, it's, on, the it's on, okay. on, you can mention the name of the street or you can give any reference, for example, is next to 
the bank, next to the mm -hmm. pharmacy, uh, on the left or across from this. So it's basically, that's the way it goes. Okay, so we're going mm -hmm. to finish, guys, this okay. class by Thank you. my pleasure, anytime. So we're going to finish by discussing these questions, okay? Maybe you want to help me by texting on that chat. So can you name five means of transportation? Maybe in El Salvador or in your town? Five means of transportation. Bus. Bus. What else? Taxi. Taxi. Uber. Car. Motorcycle. More. Motorcycle. Bicycle. 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 Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Motorcycles. What else? Train. Trains. Plane. What is it? Caballos. Horses. Mentira. Imagino Marlene. Helicopter. Ajá. Imagino Marlene en el caballo. Riding a horse. Okay. Riding in the horse. Motos. Taxi. Okay. Motos. Taxi. Motos. Taxi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, moto taxis is very common, right? Right, there comes our storm. In my in my place, no. No, no, no. In, no. in my town, there are many. Uh, I don't know if you, yeah. if you say moto taxis. There must be a. I think that's the that's the name of, of those things. Yeah, there are many here. Many, you know, people taking. But yeah. So, uh, do you prefer to drive or to go around by bus, taxi when you travel, and why? This is a very good question. I would like to hear opinions, but tell me why. Marlene, what's your case? Do you prefer to drive? <coughs> yes. Why is it? Because uh, um. The bus is the bus is very. How do you say lleno? How do you uh, say lleno? How do you say lleno in English? Full, full, full. Yes, you, you 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 can say that, but there's one word that I recommend using, and this is crowded. Have you heard this word before? Crowded. No, no. Crowded. It, when it's crowded, when something is crowded, it means that there's a lot of people crowded. I just sent it to the chat. Crowded, it means like crowded. crowded. It's very crowded. Is it refers that there's a lot of um you know people in a place. Okay, it, because now, it's a bus is a crowded and so, it is a long time. The travel with bus because you have a car. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, but then I want to hear more opinions. One more opinion because it's almost time. Traveling, what are advantages or disadvantages of using public transportation? Let's see. Talk to me, please. In my case, teacher, I depending of where. I going if I going to the downtown, I prefer bus. If I go to the mall, to the another place, the beach, the mountain, I, I prefer drive. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Any other opinion? I like obtaining those opinions. Any other opinion? In the bar, sometimes I sleep. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah, but it's, if, it's, it's really... if, it, if it is safe, if it is safe, no. uh, but if it's not safe, then, you know, it's not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Not safe. Right. Not, not safe. Right. Se duerme y se baja sin, sin cartera. Se, se, se duerme y... De la soya. Y, y lo deja. Ok. Time is, is, is unsafe. Right, it's very... Yeah, it's uncertain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, well, tomorrow you're going to keep talking about this. Prepare, like, your advantages and disadvantages. Can you guys listen to me? Hello?
Bueno, señoras y señores, ya volvió, ya volvió. Estaba en el break. Hey, hey guys. Qué poquito me duró el tiempo a mí. Listen, listen. Se fue la energía, estoy usando mis datos, estoy en lo oscuro. Ah, ok. <risa> Ok, bye, teacher. Uh, no, no, relax. <laughs> present, teacher. R relax. Present, relax. Present, present. Okay, okay, okay. Relaxation. De let me check the attendance. Ahorita, let me, let me check the attendance. Ahorita, please, antes que se me haya Okay, so I'm glad I can check the attendance at least. Sí, teacher, porque ya no queremos reponer más tiempo. <laughs> uh, no, mentira. Ah, ya, le, ya voy a mandar un correo haciendo que Marlene. No, no, no. Ya no van a aceptar en no. nuestro curso. Ok. No fui, yo no fui. Así. Ana Elizabeth. No. Here. Ok. Ángel yeah. Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Present teacher. Ok. Eric Arnoldo. No, ¿verdad? Gabriela. Present teacher. Person. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén. Present teacher. JC. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you. María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Norma. Marvin. Present. Present teacher. No, de un solo me salí. <laughs> ok, uh, Rafa. I'm here, teacher. Ok, uh, let's see. Rey, Xiomara. Present teacher. Thank Present you so much. Teacher. Thank you, guys. And Adrián, Georgina, Jairo, and Jose. Well, then I here. Guys, thank you so much for being such a wonderful group. I really appreciate your patience and participation. Have a nice night and see you guys tomorrow. If God permits. Bye guys. Bye bye. 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 Dice que en la, en la tarea 17 uh -huh. me aparece que las tengo todas malas. Wow. Y en la tarea 18. Puede compartir sí. pantalla o no puede. Eh, déjeme ver. Déjeme ver si puedo compartir pantalla. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Puedo también accesar yo. Ya, pues mi conexión se estabilizó, tenemos tiempo, así que tranquilo. Ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, teacher. Solo que no voy a encender la cámara porque es ese, pero aquí voy a estar, ok. okay. Good, thank you so much. ¿En, la, en cuál me dijo Narciso? 17 del día martes. 17. Sí. 17, ahorita lo revisamos. Siete y dieciocho. Ok, ahorita mismo. Diecisiete y dieciocho. Ok, déjeme ver. Siete. Vaya, ese. Eh, voy a ver si puedo compartir. Eh, una que dice, vaya, ahorita voy. Es esta, mire. Es de, com de complementar, es de complementar el, el going to y el verbo. Esta. Déjame ver si no estoy viendo. Mira bueno, que dice complete the sentence using from, using the form of going, be going to in the, in, in the brackets. Y okay. esa, esa es. Sí. ¿Cómo la está poniendo? Así son. La primera. He uh -huh. is going to 
phone he, his friend. He's going to phone, así. His friend. His friend. Y se la toma, se la pone mala. Se la pone mala. Y le pone el puntito. Sí. Vaya. He's going to phone, he's going to... Eso sería lo correcto. He's going to phone, y ha tratado... Y se, y la, se la da incorrecta cuando la pone así. Sí, sí, todas incorrectas. La otra es We are going to play a new computer game. Uh -huh. Vaya, déjeme ver un rato, déjeme ver algo aquí. Ya le, ya le confirmo por qué se la está tomando como bala, mala. Porque eso es lo correcto. Podría ser que esté asociado a un problema de puntuación o, o, o quiere seguramente la, este, la forma... Quiero ver. Ah. ¿Sabe qué vamos a escribir? Sí, Solo bueno. vamos a poner, Narciso, a hacer una prueba, porque ya, ya más o menos entiendo qué, cuál es el error. En el paréntesis, en el espacio, no escriba, Narciso, todo. Solo escriba el, el is going to phone, nada más. No escriba todo. Sí, yeah. going, going to phone. Ajá, pero no escriba he is going to, no escriba toda la oración, solo escriba he is going to phone. Mm -hmm. En la otra are going to play, pero no escriba, play. no ponga toda la, 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 este, la oración. Ya le voy a dar un ejemplo, permítanme, le voy a compartir. Le voy a compartir, porque lo que se está haciendo está bien, simplemente es que, aquí miren, ve mi pantalla. Sí, ahorita... sí, entonces solo escriba en el, en el espacio is going to phone, así. No escriba todo, solo escriba is going to phone. Como haciendo referencia que ese es el blanco, el espacio en blanco que va a quedar. Y trate así, a ver si le funciona. Pero no escriba toda la, la respuesta. Si gusta, puede intentar ahorita para ver. Ahorita. Ah, para que. O sea. Yo he escrito acá. He is going to phone. Ajá. His friend. Ajá. Sí. Sí. Así. Así. Y, y, y se lo acepta. No me puede compartir pantalla. No le, no le permite. Si no, sí, tranquilo, tranquilo, tenemos espacio. Sí, sí. ¿Y usted le puso Narciso el, en el espacio, le puso toda la oración o solamente es going to phone? ¿Cómo lo hizo? No, es que como tiene, este, tiene la, la oración, dice he y tiene el espacio. Uh -huh. Y luego dice his friend. Uh -huh. Y luego dice entre paréntesis to phone. Uh -huh. Y luego tiene eh, el recuadro donde hay que escribir toda la oración. Uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. es correcto. Uh 
Sí, correcto. Entonces, este, así, mira, vamos a ver, compartir una vez más la pantalla. Que no, 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 no encuentro aquí. Para eh, compartir, ¿verdad? Para compartir. Vaya. Así, mire, aquí le voy a mostrar otra vez mi pantalla. Entonces, de sí. acuerdo a lo, a lo sugerido, es así como, les, así como lo he escrito yo, mire, así debe de ponerlo. Porque si usted se fija, aquí el sistema a mí me está mostrando la respuesta, ¿verdad? Se la estoy brindando porque entiendo que puede ser confuso. En, en, en el número 2 solo debería de poner are going to play. Miren, no sé si ve en ese, en ese blanco, así. ¿Sí? O sea que no, solo... No, no, logro, no logro ver la pantalla, muy chiquita la pantallita que le veo. Sí, entonces lo que hay que hacer es eso, que en el espacio en blanco solo escriba el is going to y luego el verbo. Solamente eso, trate ah, así. So, ah, cómo no. Ajá. Voy a probar con esta. Uh -huh. Y después, si me la acepta como buena. Pues... Vaya, está bien. Trate, vean, veamos, se va a darle funciones. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Me aparecieron cuatro malas. Ah, pues sí, se la aceptó. Me la aceptó. Entonces, sí. así, ¿verdad? Así no, la no, por... toda la, la no, oración, ¿verdad? no, solamente la ah. parte nada más. Va, este, ok, solamente la parte que me está pidiendo. ¿verdad? Exacto. Ah, como no. Y la número 18. La tarea número 18. 18. Ajá. No sé si la he, no la ¿Sí? he entendido. Quiero ver, this instruction dice, use the Ah. Que, uh -huh. Dice que solo hay que complementar e igual, va, si es eh, el verbo. Yo le he puesto toda la oración también. No, solo pongamos solo entonces el verbo. El, el verbo, nada más. Solo Exacto. el verbo, okay. Sí, solo el verbo vamos a utilizar y ya debe funcionar. Yo, sí, ahí estructurado todo la oración. Sí, no, solo el ah, verbo sí, ponga. Sí. Por ejemplo, sí. la primera solo escriba clean, nada más. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, sí me la clean your como shoes. Buena. Uh -huh. Me la aceptó como bueno. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, es correcto. Gracias, mi señor. Thank you. Va, pues, excelente, Narciso. Cuídese. Feliz noche. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.